In this presentation, we're going to continue allocating expenses out by function rather than by nature with the use of the class tracking feature within our accounting system. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are in our not-for-profit company or organization dashboard. We're going to go on over to Excel to see what our objective will be. We're going to con be continuing on as we were last time breaking out our expenses into the categories using the class tracking feature so you'll recall that we have our statement of activities where our objective is to have something that looks something like this where we can break out the statement of activities with uh, donor restrictions and without donor restrictions and we want to be able to show our expenses by by function what they're used for the programs and the management and the fundraising and we also need to show them by nature which means they're normal expense categories. So when we put them into QuickBooks, they're usually going to be categorized after normal expense categories. We're going to use the class tracking feature to then break them out by function. We put them in the system. Uh, first of all, putting them all into one class so that we can separate the idea of putting them into the system and just doing the normal accounting versus the allocation with the use of our percentages to the programs and other uses to the functions. Now we're going to continue on going up, going to the reports, drilling back down, breaking this information out using the percentages 40, 20, 20, 20, public health and education, community service, admin and fundraising respectively. All right, let's go do it. We're going to go back on over to our QuickBooks. We're going to be opening up our reports and going back from the reports. I'm going to go down to the reports on the left hand side. We're going to be opening up the good old P&L, the profit and loss, the income statement. I'm going to change the dates up top just for the month of January. So January 1st to 01, uh, 3120, January 31st. Then we'll run that report. I'm going to go up top. I'm going to say that uh, we want to make this a classes report. So I'll take it to the classes and then run that report. Then we'll close up the hamburger. I'll close up the hamburger over here. Gonna hold down control, scroll up just a bit and bring it up to that one, two, five. Now what I would like to see is just in this report, just the restricted items, or I'm sorry, just the not specified items because these are the unspecified that we need to reallocate out. So let's run the report and just look at those, concentrate on those. So I'm gonna go to the customize up top using the filtering options. I'm gonna filter this and say I want to filter by classes and that's that's an item that's actually not a class right it was it's the ones that are not specified so it's a, it's a not specified ones so the ones that aren't specified that's the one we want I'm gonna run that report and there we have it so now we have just these items that we need to reallocate so we need to specify them so that they're no longer not specified now let's uh, duplicate this tab let's go to the tab up top and right click on it and duplicate it and then I'm going to go to the tab to the left and open up another P and L. So I'm going to go to the hamburger, open it back up, go down to the reports. Once again, we're going to be opening up another P and L, another profit and loss or income statement, however you want to name it. And there it is. I'm going to be opening that up and then I'll close the hamburger back out again. We're going to run this report also for the month of January, January 1st to 013120 and then run that report. And then I also want to see the classes here. So I'm going to go back up top and say we want to see this by class, please. And we're going to check out the classes, run that report. And so we have that. And then what I'd like to see here is the, is after it's allocated, the what it's going to be allocated to, which is going to be the items that are unrestricted categories. So what I'm going to do is say, all right, let's go to our filters up top. And once I take the items out of... Uh, the non-categorized, I'm going to go to the filter, they'll show up on this report, and I'm going to go to the classes, and let's that put the classes up top, and let's open up the classes, and then I'm going to say I want not the restricted things, I want all the unrestricted stuff, which I could just check that box, I think, but I'm going to check all of these that are, say, unrestricted, because these are the sub-categories, the subclass fields of the unrestricted, so all of these unrestricted starting ones I want those in there and then we'll say run that report and then uh, once we reclassify stuff they'll start to appear here like they did for these first two in this side all right so here we go we're gonna go back to the tab to the right 
and everything that's in unclassified or not specified, we're going to specify. And we're gonna do that by going here, for example, to the provision for uncollectible pledge. We're gonna go into that item. There's our adjusting entry. This is a journal entry. So we're gonna go into the journal entry and then we're just gonna go straight through this and apply it out according to our percentages. Now also note before we go into this any further, you probably wanna print the profit and loss uh, by class before you do this, just so you have the, the, the numbers. So if there's any changes that you make that you, you can go back and see what kind of changes or what adjustments made if there's an error, for example. So just keep that in mind. In any case, we're gonna go through this again. We're gonna say, bring it down here. We're gonna go, this is gonna be the prevision. Prevision for uncollectible. And I'm just gonna name off our categories on the left-hand side going to say the 20% admin. Notice I've made this column pretty large so I can see the entire 20% over there. And then I'm going to do this again. So we're now going to pick this up again, which is going to be the prevision. Prevision. And so, and this one, this time I'm going to pick the category, which is going to be the fundraising. So we'll pick the fundraising tab, tab, and then do it again. Prevision. And then I'm gonna go over here and pick the category and I'm gonna put the numbers in later. You might be saying, well, like, where's the numbers? But I'm gonna put them in afterward because I, I believe this is slightly faster way to do it. And this is gonna be prevision and tab, 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 tab. And then we're gonna put it in here too. And this is gonna be the education. So now we got 20, 20, 20, 40 being the allocation. So now I'm gonna go into our allocation and I'm gonna re-enter the debits. I'm gonna pull up the trusty calculator, trusty calculator, and make it a little bit smaller than that. I don't need a huge calculator. It's gonna be 21600 times 0.2. So that's gonna be 4320. So 4320, and I'll put that here, 4320. And here, 4320, and here, Four three two zero, and then we can take the twenty percent two one six zero zero times point. Uh, was it forty percent? It says right there forty percent. That's why I put it there. Eight six four zero. So this is going to be uh, eight six four zero. Let's check if that makes sense according to our table over here. So eight six four zero four three two zero. I think that's in the twenty one six of the total. I think that's right. So let's go back over and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the calculator for now and I'm going to get rid of this first line. I don't want this first line. So I'm going to hold down control and make this a little bit smaller and see if they give me a delete option. So I made it smaller so I can see the little trash can over here. And then I'm going to trash that first one and then our debits and credits should still be lined up here. So I trashed the first one and our debits and credits should still line up. So 216, 216. So let's go ahead and say save and close on that. And then uh, it says I don't have an allocation to a class because I didn't allocate the first one. That's okay because that's going to be the balance sheet account. So I'm going to say okay. And there it goes away there. And if I go back to my tab over here, the first tab, and we update that report. So we're right working with a fresh report. There's our provision. So there's the 4320, the 4320, the 43, and the eight six four zero which i believe matches here now if i make any errors i will check it according to this table and we'll uh we'll go back to it so uh bear with me here so then we're going to go back to the first tab and let's go back i'm going to scroll back up top and i'm going to go back to our report and so we've allocated that one out now we're just going to keep doing keep going here we got the printing and postage let's go on into the printing and postage do the same thing this one's going to be an expense type form same same application doesn't matter what the form is it's we're doing pretty much the same thing we're going to be breaking this out all right so i'm going to go back on down here and i'm just going to reallocate this i'm going to say this is going to be printing and postage this time i'm going to i'm going to add the four lines first i think this will be even faster printing and then i'll go and add the classes so printing and postage printing and postage and then printing and postage so i'm just working i'm trying to specialize the tasks here just do you know one thing at a time one thing at a time and i'll make less errors such as that one printing and postage and then then i'm going to add the classes at one time right i'm going to do this all at once so i'm going to say all right this is going to be the 20 percent 
this is going to be the 40 percent or the 20 percent for the fundraising this is going to be the 20 percent community service and this is going to be the 40 percent education then we pull out the trusty calculator trusty calculator is being whipped out here and we're going to make it a little bit smaller i don't know why it has to open so large all the time the calculator is just like here i am huge calculator on the whole screen times 0.2 and then we have the 2580 let's put this over here this is going to be the 2580 and then we got here 2580 and then here 2580 and then i'm going to take this uh 12 9 and multiply it times the 0.4 and then we get the 54 uh, the 5160 for the printing and postage let's check that over here for printing and postage this is the one we're on now so let's make that green if i can get it in, out of the way of the calculator the calculator's in the way even when it's small it's in the way so let's say i want that one let's make this one ungreen i'm going to ungreen this one make it blue again make it back to the blue and so we got the 2580 and the 5160. So I think that's, uh, that's what we have here. So, okay. So now I'm going to trash the first line. We don't need the first line. It has been replaced now. And then the total still lining up to that 129. So we're just reallocating them uh, to the classes. Same, same account, different, cla different classes for, for them. All right. So then we're going to say save and close save and close and it disappears here hopefully disappears and then if i go back to the report up top back to the report it should disappear there and it should reappear in this other report on the left magically magically it's amazing we're going to run that report so we have an updated report there it is printing and postage magically appearing great stuff great stuff okay so then we're going to go to the rent and lease we're going to do this this again we're going to go into the expenses. We're going to go into the expense, another expense type form that we're going to be using. We're going to use our specialized routine to make this really easy by first doing the categories, which I'm just going to type in rent, rent, and lease, and then tab, 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 rent and lease, tab, 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 tab rent and tab 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 and one more time rent and tab 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 i don't even need to tab that last time then i'm going to add the categories here we're going to say this is going to be 20 percent admin and then this one's going to be 20 percent fundraising and then this one's going to be 20 percent for community service and then this one's going to be 40 percent for the education then we whip out the trusty calculator, which has to be huge on the whole screen, and we make it smaller. We're like, calm down, calculator. We're going to bring it, and then we're going to say 35800 times 0 0.2, and that's going to be the 7160. So we'll bring this to the 7160 here, and then to underneath that, we're going to say 7160, and then once again, 7160. Then we're going to do this again. We're going to say 35800 times 0.4. That gives us the 14320. So we'll say 1432. Where's the one? Where's the one? 14320. And see if that checks off to our um, information on our sheet. So we're on the rent 14 and 7160. 7160 and the 14 uh 320 uh, it looks good i think so let's make this one green now i don't think we really need to make it green i checked it without making a green calculator you're in the way oh so then i'm gonna make this one green and then we'll make this one blue and i'll make that blue all right so then let's go back on over and we can delete the first line. The first line has now been replaced. So uh, the first line's been replaced. If I close this back out, we should be back to the to the 35.8, which I believe is where we started with, right? That's the 35.8, yes. Okay, 
So now let's record that. We're going to say save and close, save and close. And then it should disappear here. It's going to disappear. And then I'm going to scroll back up and go back to our uh, back to our report. Disappears there. And then we're going to go back to the first tab. And we're going to update this and refresh it. So we're working with fresh reports. Run that report. And it reappears here right there. Re it reappears here right there. Okay. So then we're going to go to the second tab. Let's do this again three more times. And then that's, we get to do this three more times. Oh, there's two here. We get to do it four more times. It's going to be great. So we're going to go into the expense item. And then we're going to do this with our really fast systematic way here. We're going to say this is going to be sales. Tab, 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 tab. Sales. Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> A little too fast. Slow down. This is going to be salaries. Tab, 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 tab. Salaries. Tab, 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 tab. Salaries. Tab, 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 tab. Salaries. Salaries. Tab. And then we're going to add our classes. Classes. We're going to say, all right, this is going to be drop down 20% for the admin, 20% for the fundraising. 20% for the, what's this one? Uh, community service and then 40%, 40% for the education. Then we'll tr pull out the trusty calculator. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller again. There's the calculator. It's gonna be 209460 times uh, 0.2. That's gonna be the 41892. So we'll bring that here. We're gonna say this is gonna be 41892. Next one was going to be 41892. Next one is going to be 41892. And then we're going to recalculate once again. We're going to pick this up at the 209460 times 0.4. Oh, I think I had 4.5. I think I had a large finger hit two buttons. 209462 uh, times 0.4. 837 uh, and you're and you're probably thinking you should be able to do the math on the two percent for but anyway <laughs> so we're gonna say there's the eight three seven eight four on that one let's check out and see if that uh, checks out for our Excel sheet so Excel sheet over here and we're gonna say that this is gonna be the salaries now I have some, oh, this, this is because there's two items to it. So we'll have to check out the two items at the end. So keep that in mind. We're not wrong yet. Hopefully we're, we just can't check it at this point in time. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to make this one blue. That's the one we're focused in on. We're focused in on the green one. Focusing on the green one. And then I'm going to remove the top item. The top item we don't need any, anymore. It's been replaced. So this should still be the 109640, which it is. Let's say save and close. Save and close. And we still have that other item, which was the journal entry. So let's go into the journal entry now. So let's go into that 16800. We'll do the same thing here. Same thing. It's going to be great. But now it's in journal entry format. Same thing, but in journal entry format. So salaries, S-A-L, tab, tab. So I'm going to redo that. That's actually going to be salaries. I had salaries payable there. So it's going to be salaries and wages. So salaries and wages. So make sure we're picking up the salaries and wages. Tab, 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 tab. Salaries and wages. So I'm going to pick up salaries and wages. Tab, 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 tab. And then salaries and wages. Tab, 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 tab. And then salaries and wages. Tab, tab. All right, and then we're gonna we're going to pick up the classes. I'm gonna select the class item. First one's gonna be 20% admin. Second one is gonna be 20% fundraising. Third one is gonna be 20% uh, community service, and then of course the education, which we're gonna allocate the 40% for. And then we're gonna pull up the giant calculators. Giant calculator. Where's the calculator? And then I'm gonna minimize. The calculator so we can see the screen and the calculator at the same time that's going to be the 16800 times 0.2 and there we got the 3360 so we're going to say the debit then uh 3360 here 
The next one's also gonna be 3360. The next one's also gonna be 3360. The next one's gonna be different. We're gonna take the 16800 times 0.4, and that's gonna be the 6720. So this one's 6720. 6720. All right, I think we got things right. I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna then uh, delete the first item gonna delete that and we should still then be at the 168 after deletion uh, didn't get deleted hold on a sec let's try that again delete that with a little trash canny and then we got the six and it's not 168 because I'm missing a number here so it's not gonna be in balance let's pull out the trusty calculator it should be the three three six zero times two or the six seven two zero so somehow the six disappeared wasn't my fault I swear I hit the key the, the keyboard messed up so there we have it so let's go check that now we're in balance down here and now we're gonna say save and close and then it's and that's okay so I'm gonna say yes now it has disappeared from our profit and loss for the not specified let's go back on over to the first PNL let's go to the first PNL update run that report again and then we have our salaries and wages. So we're at the 45,252 at the 90,504. Let's check that to our numbers over here. 90,504 and the 45,252 for the total of the 226,260 and the total of the 226,260. So that looks good. All right, two more times we get to do this. Let's go back to the tab to the right. We're going to go to the telephone now. Let's go to the telephone. Click on the telephone. It's going to be an expense type form. We've seen that before. No problem. Expense form. We're going to go into that one and we're just going to replace these items down below. I'm going to say telephone tab, 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 telephone tab, 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 telephone tab, 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 telephone tab. And then we're going to go and add our classes. Class is going to be 20% for the first one for the admin. Second one's going to be 20% for the fundraising. Next one's going to be 20% for the uh, community service. Next one's going to be 20 or 40% for the education. Then once again, we're going to pull up the trusty giant calculator. It says, here's the giant calculator going to minimize that so it's not so giant and then we're going to say this is going to be 6200 times 0 0.2 1240 so we'll put that in the amount here 1240 next one also is going to be 1240 the next one's also going to be 1240 then we do our calculation for the last one 6200 times 0 0.4 2480 so this one's going to be 2480 and there we have it so now we should be able to delete to delete the first uh, item I just minimized the whole thing so we should be able to delete the first item and still be at that 6200 so I'm going to delete this and then our check amount should still be at the 6200 and it's not hold on a second and that's because this last one should I'm missing a two again so something happened to that first button for that last one I keep missing the first button so now this one should add up to the 6200 so there it is all right so now let's go ahead and, and uh, save and close this so we will save and close this and then it disappears here and then I'm gonna go back to our summary back to the summary it disappears there I'm gonna go back to the other report on the left hand side we're going to then run that report and it should reappear here. So there's the telephone, 1240, 1240, and the 2480. So if I look at the telephone over here, so there it is, 124, and the, and the, all right, that all looks correct to me. So I'm gonna make that green. I'm not sure we need to make it green right now because I just looked at it and it checks out, but I'll make it green anyways because that's been our custom. So we'll make that green and this one back to blue. And then we're on the last one. We only get to do this one more time. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. We're on the utilities. Utilities. We're going to go into that one. We're going to go into the expense here. So we're going to go on into the expense for the utilities. It's an expense type of form. We've seen that before. No problem. So we're going to go down. We're just going to add this again. Utilities. Tab, 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 tab. 
Utilities, tab, 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 tab. Utilities, tab, 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 tab. Utilities, tab. Then we're gonna add the categories. Classes, we're gonna say this one's gonna be 20% admin. Next one's gonna be 20% for the fundraising. Next one's gonna be 20% for the program of community service. The next one's gonna be 20% for the education. Education. All right, and then we're gonna pull out the trusty calculator. And there it is, boom, trusty calculator. Make it a little smaller, a little smaller. We're gonna say then this is gonna be the 9100 times 0.2. And so that's going to be the 1820, 1820. Then the next one's going to also be 1820. And then the next one's also going to be 1820. And then we're going to go back to the trusty calculator. 9100 times 0.4 is going to be the 3640. So the next one's going to be 3640. And then I'll close the trusty calculator because we're done with it for now. Then I'm gonna close this one and we should still be at that 9100. So I'm gonna close this, still at uh, the 9100. We are not, uh, we're at the 116. So let me see, hold on a second. So this last item should not be 6340, but uh, 3640. So I transpose those numbers. I'm getting a little excited on the last one, apparently. Like, <laughs> it's just, so in any case, I'm gonna close that back out and that should be now at the 9100. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and say save and close on this one. Save and close on this one. It should then disappear on this report. Uh, it goes away, good. It stayed there for a little while. I was a little worried for a second because it didn't go away for a while. And then there's nothing on this report. We've allocated them all. If we go back to the reports to the left then, we're gonna say that last one that we did, which was the last, oh, we need to update the report run the report again and then we'll see that last one we did which is going to be for the 1820 and the 3640 so the utilities here the 1820 okay there we have it now we can we can take a look at our bottom line numbers uh for for the the programs uh the the uh 128504 so if i go back on over here and say I want to see this by program now. So here's the expenses 128504. And then this one is the and then the rest should be the 64252. So if I go back to this one, we should have the 64252, 64252, 64252, 128504. Total programs then at the 192. And then if you're taking a look at the total unrestricted now, it's the 321,260. So I'm gonna go back over here and that's gonna be the 321,260. So it looks like the allocation uh, is working out, looks correct. So you can see the table that we have here, we've got the items broken out by their nature and then by program. If we go back on over here, then we've got the items broken out by nature here and then by program up top. So again, you can see how this report can be a, a little bit overwhelming. If you get you want to give all this information, we need to give this information uh, in the reporting process, and we could put them all on on one report basically by by in this format. We can do that. We could show all this information, but we can also make the adjustments. So now that we have our information in this format, we can then think about okay, how can we then present this to somebody uh, in a reasonable way? And one way would be to try to break it out in this format have the two columns, the with restrictions, without restrictions, and start there, and then add the more detail as needed. So note what you can do if, if we run our, our full report then. If we go back to our full report, we could say, okay, if I went to the customize up top, and I looked at the full report, I'm gonna remove the filters, I'm gonna remove the filters, and then run that report. Notice now we have uh, the restricted items, and then we have the unrestricted items. So we could think of this report as showing the total restricted and then the total uh, unrestricted, right? That's what we want to see first. And we can filter it down a little bit here, but we can easily filter it down by exporting to Excel and then just hiding those other columns. We want to collapse, in essence, all, all of these columns that aren't the total. And then we can expand on that. We can expand on this report and then say, okay, now once you have that summary, then we'll give you the breakout, which will break out the information for the unrestricted items 
and, and break it out by the expense categories here. We can add that information in pretty much like a supplemental type of report as we have uh, here. And we can do the same for the restricted items up top. We can, do the, we can do the same thing. We can run a report and say, hey, okay, here's the detail for the restricted items. So we'll talk more about basically formatting the reports, how we might put these uh, reports together for uh, you know display purposes to give to say the board of directors. There's two needs of course that we have. One is just the reporting purposes for the financial statement reporting purposes, in which case we need this information generally broken out by nature, broken out by function, uh, and then giving this information to something like the board for decision-making process, in which case we, we need the same kind of general information, of course, but we want to present it in a different way, in a, in, in a way that's easy for decision-making processes to take place. And again, we'll talk more about that, how we can format these, uh, these reports in a future presentation. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.